Hi there. You know, when you question a Christian about the atrocities that God allows, such as starving babies and cancer and all that stuff, they say, well, you know, men have free will. They can do what they want. God just wants them to worship him out of their own free will. But has it always been that way? So I'm going to talk about Deuteronomy chapter 28, where God clearly points out what it means to obey and the results for not doing so. So from verses 3 through 14, a total of 12 verses, God describes all the blessings that Israel is going to receive. Now, I can't tell you all of them. This is a three-minute video. It says, the fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock will increase. The Lord will grant you supremacy over all other nations and your enemies. The Lord will send a blessing upon all your barns and your lands. Then the peoples of the earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they will fear you. So in the next 53 verses, we go on to hear what's going to happen if y'all don't choose to worship with your own free will. The fruit of your womb will be cursed. Your animals, children will die. The Lord will strike you down with a wasting disease and all types of bad things like droughts and floods will happen and you will be defeated in war. Your dead bodies will lie in fields to be eaten by birds and beasts. Your bodies will suffer with tumors and boils that cannot be healed. Your ox will be slaughtered and your fiancés will be raped. Your sons and daughters will be kidnapped into slavery. You will become a thing of horror and ridicule. You will eat the fruit of your wombs. You're going to eat your kids and not even share the meat with your friends and family. You will have no compassion upon your brothers or the wife that you love and any surviving kids. And in verse 63, it says, Just as it pleased the Lord to make you prosper and increase in number, so it will please him to ruin and destroy you. Is that free will?